Let me quickly explain the false narrative of Simon Webb. Did you know that according to Simon, when they're bad, they're Africans. But when they're good, then they are Moors or Arabs. How does it even work? When they were guarding Hadrian's Wall, they were Moors not Africans. When they made advancement in medicine or calendar they were Arabs not Africans. But when they were slave traders then they were Africans not Arabs. When Mali Empire built Great Mosque of Jen, they were Arabs. But when its ruins were discovered in 1907 the failure was attributed to Africans. When they built the Great Mosque they were Muslims not Africans. But when it got destroyed they were Africans not Muslims. When over 12 million Africans were shipped across the Atlantic during Simon Sides it should have never been about numbers but other slave trades. But when he compared Islamic terrorism with right-wing terrorism he said it was about the numbers because Islamic terrorism took more lives. Simon Webb will change the goalposts depending on how the wind blows. That's nothing but malicious bigotry. Kushite rulers were crowned as kings of Egypt, ruling Egyptian kingdom as pharaohs of Egypt's 25th dynasty. Those kings are commonly referred to as the black pharaohs in scholarly and popular publications. Some groups of Berbers were black. There have been varying degrees of black African gene flow into both the Berber and Arab populations. This is especially true of the Ta'ab Berbers as their territory extends further south than most Berber groups. They stretched from sub-Saharan Africa to Upper Egypt. That's why many Ta'ericks are black or part black. The transatlantic slave trade was the largest long-distance forced movement of people in recorded history. It lasted longer than you imagine. The Portuguese began trafficking Africans in the 1440s. The British abolished their slave trade in 1807, so did the Americans but the trade continued to flourish down to the 1850s. It was the most costly in human life of all long-distance global migrations. For over 400 years, more than 12 million men, women and children were the victims of the trade, one of the darkest chapters in human history. About 12% of those who embarked on a journey across Atlantic did not survive the voyage. Infant and child mortality rates were twice as high among enslaved children as among southern white children. Half of all enslaved infants died in their first year of life. The slave trade was a major part of economic growth in Britain's North American colonies. The estimates suggest that it grew substantially over the period, reaching a magnitude equivalent to about 11% of the British economy by the early 19th century. The Grand Mosque in Jen is the largest mud building in the world making it the only one of its kind. The present structure was based on the design of an 11th century mosque. It was built by the local Africans who decided to use local materials and traditional design techniques.